and we are live at five welcome you guys welcome to pure dog talks live at five i am your host laura reeves i am so excited to have all you guys join us and i am super excited <clears throat> about tonight's special guest alex gebhardt who's partner relations at brilliant pad is joining us to talk about a very exciting product um this is also a new advertiser and sponsor and supporter for Pure Dog Talk. So I want everyone to give Alex a very warm welcome. We are going to be giving away a free Brilliant Pad tonight. So I think that's pretty cool. While everybody's hopping on, I've got a couple items for the go to the order as usual. In case you haven't heard, we have recently launched a new, very, very cool opportunity to access the archives. 600 and what is it now? Nine episodes, y'all. Um, can be hard to kind of find some back issues and topics that you're really interested in. Only 200 of them are available on your podcast app. So I've done all the searching and the hunting and pecking for you and for the introductory price of only a buck 99, you can download an entire album on topics like breeding and whelping hands-on, the interviews with all of the <clears throat> most amazing judges, breeders, handlers, etc., in our sport, veterinary voice with Dr. Marty Greer, owner handlers, um, real specific information for, for folks on that topic, Love the breeds. We've got a hundred and some odd breeds that we've that we've highlighted. Just a ton of information, and you can find that on the um, shopping tab on puredogtalk.com. So, as always, our success is your success. If you haven't yet, please check out our exclusive patrons group. This is an amazing community of people. Um, every one of whom pays a little bit to support the show. And as an added perk, we have the pure pep talk, which is a weekly text message just with a pep talk, right? And you can sign up for the patrons group and the pep talk messages for as little as $10 a month. I mean, you know, it's the price of a coffee at Starbucks and that's for a month it's a whole lot more for a whole lot less than a whole lot of other people can offer you. So <laughs> of course, more support gets you more access. So there's that bottom line is your passion is our purpose. You can check out all of these great opportunities on the website, puredogtalk.com. So now Let's uh, let's get this party started. Welcome, Alex. Welcome as a new advertiser and supporter of Pure Dog Talk. You've got a really, really cool product that you're talking about tonight. I have one in my whelping room with my nine Spinoni puppies as we speak. And I know that uh, we're going to get to have some photos and some videos of how these work. So talk to us. Talk to us about the brilliant. Well, um I'm, <laughs> I'm letting Laura finish her role here. She was on a roll. Um, but I'm really, first of all, I'm thrilled to be here. I've been a listener of Pure Dog Talk for quite a while. Um, I've been with Brilliant Pad um, for a good part of this year. So it's been very exciting, very exciting year. Um, but I think I might put one of your patron things on my Christmas wish list. Yeah. I'm not sure. Santa's going to think that I was naughty or nice, but you know, maybe he'll, uh, maybe he'll think, to. you know, you it's a great talking stuff for y'all. <laughs> well, and you know, when you're the only crazy dog lady in the family, um, you know, I found out Thanksgiving that I actually had like a sister-in-law or something that had a niece or a cousin who was involved in dog sports. Of course we clutched oh each other you know, through the I, whole holiday. I, well, like, I, I, I understand that, you know, my parents are both gone now and they were the dog people in my family and the rest of the family just looks at me like I'm from Mars. They, they just don't get it. <laughs> yeah. They, they don't like you sitting at the table, throwing the word bitch around. Um, <laughs> just, just, I, 
<laughs> but I know I'm in a, this is a safe place, so I'm good. We're in here. a safe zone. We're in a hundred percent a safe zone. So Alex, talk to us about Brilliant Path. I do. I want to talk about it because this has been, so my understanding and correct me if I'm wrong, but the people behind Brilliant Pad are also behind the um, kitty litter robot thing that makes the kitty poopy disappear. Like I don't do cats, but I'm saying, isn't that, isn't that what I'm talking about? Uh, We have this really (laughs) incredible uh, story. Um, The, uh, folks behind Brilliant Pad are like serious engineers and designers and product designers. And years ago, they came out with um, the Scoop Free. It was a litter, like an automatic kitty litter, cl- self cleaning litter box. Right. And um, it was, you know, it was a big hit. It went on. Then they, um, you know, for some crossed over, Alan um, hopefully will be on a future show because he's wonderful and you would love to hear a story from him. But uh, long story short, they were on Shark Tank with uh, the Brilliant Mm -hmm. Pad product when it first came out. And one of the most sensational things, um, thanks for the question. We're going to talk about Brilliant Pad. A Brilliant Pad is a smart, self-cleaning indoor dog potty that works in your home or your whelping pen um that's so all right people listen up i'm telling you this is the shizzle <laughs> you will never have to touch poop again so it might be hard to imagine but picture a if you use paper puppy pee pads and we've all experienced them or been in a home with small dogs and the whole kitchen floor is covered with puppy pee pads. Um, well, that doesn't have to be the case anymore. They should be on your Christmas list because we literally picture two rolls of pee pads on a conveyor belt. Mm-hmm. Um, but Alan and his team were so brilliant. They actually put a camera and a Wi-Fi on this system so for those of us dog people, like I love that we get a daily poop report. So the system connects to a um, camera and Wi-Fi and an app on your phone. So you can literally be anywhere and you can look in on your litter. I'm just saying. <laughs> you can sneak a peek you can clean the pad remotely um it automatically cleans like there's a sensor so if the dog steps onto the system Mm -hmm. it knows that the dog went for a single or double dog household like for a chihuahua or something if you were using this it actually has technology called poop ai which tracks your dog's health well i don't know about you but i mean when my dog went to the bathroom i would freely speak to my friends and share photos and be like this was my here's the poopy (laughs) well now i mean it logs every activity which actually over time is very useful because if you're having stomach issues or something and your veterinarian asks you well when did this start you can be like well hold on a minute you know, and show it to them on your phone, but you actually get notices um, and it tracks. It also measures like if there's more urine than normal, if the mm-hmm. poop is loose or firm, mm-hmm. any kind of a change. So, you know, they've been working and it's going to keep getting better and better. The product's been out for about five years. They right. started working halfway through they started working with breeders because someone was using it in a whelping environment and the breeders have literally been redesigning this product so anybody going to orlando in the next few days (laughs) um, you guys sure to stop by the booth because um the new system and we're going to be sneak peeking the great topper so that was a direct request from the breeders. We had cord covers. Um, it's really, it's it's a unique solution that helps you keep your whelping pen clean for breeders. And again, any dog, we say under 25 pounds, um, but it's really more of a dimension issue because dogs like to turn around. It can hold a little more weight. 
Um, it's a great training tool, like for service dogs that have to be, you know, be taught to go potty. Um, it's useful yeah, for senior dogs. senior dogs. If you live in places that have hurricane or flooding or inclement weather and your dog can't always go outside apartments. Alex, I'm going to tell you, honest to God, like it's in my litter, right? I have nine Spinoni puppies, like nine Spinoni puppies cannot fit on this but one can <laughs> and they're using it. And I fully anticipate that when they age out of this, it's going into my Chihuahua's little area and my partner, God bless his soul. When I'm gone, sometimes isn't as good about putting her outside as he could be. And instead of my coming home and smelling the nasty pee pads that haven't been changed in <clears throat> how many days, he can just push a button. And, and, and that's, I love this. I mean, Alex is talking about the cool, like Wi-Fi enable, blah, blah, blah. I love the super old school low tech. Like I push a button and the poopy goes away. Done. <laughs> yeah. And you can set the videos and you photos that I have from the one that I have here. So you guys can actually see this in action. Well, I shared, a, we have like just a little like 20 second um, demo video that I put up in the chat here, Laura. I don't know whether we can Good. share that. Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, whoever can, Natalie can. It's in the guest chat, Nat. So that video, you can drop it in the comments for everybody. Um, it's, and kind of, yeah. it's, it's better when you see it. Yeah. But it is kind of, we've heard it be called the um, puppy poop saver it's a poop eater it's a magic poop portal i mean <laughs> we probably poop should portal. have a naming we portal. probably should okay. have a naming contest but <laughs> it is I, I feel like i feel like you know live at five is here for it we get to talk about poop it's just the <laughs> best <laughs> um and but so the best part is it doesn't smell it really no, does and i'm saying it, it really smell. doesn't and i i'm speaking to you from did i mention nine five week gold spinoni puppies if there's anything that's gonna smell i mean um it it seriously doesn't and so the other thing that i want to make sure that we're telling people yep here's your video um, that's a photo of my puppies learning how to use it. And, um, Alex, I think the important part for people to know is that there's a chance for them to win one yes. of these for free. Hi, Natalie. And <laughs> so now you can drop the link, um, to sign up to win one of these. Alex, tell us about this giveaway. Uh, so basically, because we're so excited to be part of the Pure Dog Talk family, um, we wanted to kick off right for the holidays. We're giving away a brilliant breeder bundle, which normally retails for around $399. Um, it has everything you need to whelp a litter. Um, we are currently running a special on the product between now and December 31st, where you can get it for half price because we really want to get it out to as many breeders as we can. We know what you guys go through and uh, this can really help. Um, but the breeder bundle, um, so all you'll have to do is fill out the form and tomorrow you will be announcing via email and we'll put it up on the Facebook um, whoever uh, won the unit. And so we're gonna absolutely amazing for the old dogs. Anybody who has old dogs at home, um, anybody like Puffball, right? My little Chihuahua that she's not going to go run around. And I mean, like her version of going for a walk is daddy carries her down the stairs and she pee pees and then yells to come back in. Right. So this is, this is amazing for a lot, a lot, a lot of opportunities um, it we, is uh, Laura, we actually have three different systems that I think would be really interesting for the listeners. The one is the breeder bundle that we're doing on the giveaway that's designed right. for breeders and has a special cover on it to keep the puppies from tearing at the paper. So a lot of people yes. are like, oh, I see the paper on there and the pu my puppies are going to chew it. Well, we've tested it with quite a oh, few yeah. litters. And we've 
we've created a specialized cover for it specifically designed for the whelping pen. It also comes with a few extra rolls, supply rolls, and you get some training sprays. Then we have another one that was designed for the, you know, owner, pup, dog owner, consumer, new puppy owner. Um, we have a new puppy bundle that is the Brilliant Pad Smart. Both the Breeder Bundle and the Brilliant Pad Smart come with the camera, the Wi-Fi, and the, the little app. So you can, you know, it can do automatically or you could do run it remotely. We then went in back to our warehouse and we said, we want to get this in people's hands. So we actually right now are offering the Brilliant Pad Original, which is without a camera and Wi-Fi, but it's still one touch clean. So Laura mm -hmm. was saying she doesn't care. She just pushes the button, <laughs> which is this Brilliant Pad Original will do. You can upgrade it, but it's only $99. So it really is. If you love your mom that has that little lap dog, she doesn't want to bend down all the time and pick up her puppy pads. It, it really is a great gift idea. And, and nobody, it, it will be the most original gift <laughs> under your holiday. 100% uh, on that. So two things. Number one, did I mention nine Spinoni puppies? I am counting 15 loads of laundry per day. Hi, Natalie. Um, <laughs> Natalie is, Natalie is joining us from the background. Um, so 15 loads of laundry a day is pretty expensive. And if I add up all of the, um, hot water and all of the soap and all of the, uh, um, you know, time and all the rest of it, I, I can spend a hundred dollars like in a week without even trying. And no, as I said, I'm not putting nine Spinoni puppies on this. It's, what is it? What are the dimensions? Alex, like two by two, two, two it's by about 24. It's about two by three. Yeah. So, yeah. It's so big I mean, enough. yeah, it's, it's great for one or two puppies. I have had the puppies have started using it like that. Um, I'd already started them on the concept of you go potty on the potty pads Right. And so they took to this like in nothing flat. Absolutely. No question. No hesitation. They do when it's clean, think it's furniture. So, I mean, you can consider it part of your socialization routine because that's it's mine. Play on it. Bed where, you know, those raised beds. Right? <laughs> yep. I love that. I love um, and exactly. The cord protector is a big recommendation. I will say I, taken unplugging mine when I'm not watching so that they don't do anything naughty just because where it is in my whelping room, the puppies have access to the, to the outlet. So in an, in an excess of caution. Um, but truly I think of how many times I bend over to pick up pee pee pads or the mess that I was greeted with this morning, half of which thank God was on the brilliant pad, but the other half wasn't. So <laughs> You know, it still um, saved me half my life, right? So I, I am just, I'm sold. I see this as an absolute win-win. I am really, truly, honestly impressed um, with what my puppies are doing with it, and it is going to go live in Puffball's pen as soon as the puppies are aged out of it. <laughs> so the Chihuahua will have a permanent place to go potty. Well, and speaking of chihuahuas, if you actually are like breed or have toy or small dogs, yes. when they're started on that in the whelping pen, they actually go home almost pre-trained. I mean, we, we wouldn't say, oh, here's your, your puppy's house broken. Every environment is different. But how nice is it if you have a puppy going to someone's home and they have a oh, brilliant yeah. pad there? the dog yeah. will know where to go very, very, yeah. very quickly. So I have hundred percent can see this for particularly my small dog breeders, right? Send, send every puppy home and say, and part of you, what you need to buy is one of these. And you know, it, if it's a hundred dollars or $200 or whatever it is that people want to do, they, I mean, instantly. And I, I can't tell you how many puppies I have sent home and house training is a thing. And, 
puppies are a thing. And I think even for our breed, even for the larger dogs, I can see people having this to start their dog with for that first right month or two while they're getting housebroken. People have to be at work and blah, blah, blah. it'll hold the size of the dog. The dog just has to stay in the space. So Alex, talk to me about, because I thought this was genius. All of the people who are training service dogs who have to teach their dogs how to potty in a pretty constrained space. This to me seems like an absolute 100%. Yeah. So this is, um, it is a very unique training tool where you can easily, it does, I mean, because it does hold more than 25 pounds. So right. if you were training like a golden retriever or, you know, medium sized dog and you needed them to like where you point and say, go now, you know, mm -hmm. um, right. a lot of like, you have to go here, this is what you've got. Yeah. So it is, you can use it as a tool for that. Definitely. Um, it does have some accessories for the little guys. So one of the things we have is a ramp. It's a little tiny ramp <laughs> um, because it is, I don't know if you guys watch the video, but it's probably what, about two inches high? Yeah, about that. I haven't used it because my guys are too big and don't need it. And it's, oh, I just haven't yeah. even gotten there. Um, well, but the unit itself, like it's right. not directly flat on the floor. So it's up a little bit. And therefore we have like Maltese and Chihuahuas and these puppies are the size of hamsters, but they're able to use it because we have like a little ramp that goes up. It also if I had a had little of pug puppies, this would be perfect. Like I've had yeah. pug puppies in the house. This would be so perfect because it's just, it's right there. It's like I, all four of the pug puppies could be on it at the same time. No problem. Yeah. And they fit there all, all like, yeah, you could, like six of them on there yeah mm -hmm. now some breeders say we want a bigger one some breeders have said we want a smaller one they're looking into those things we do have a battery pack available if you want to take it with you in an rv or if you have it in an x pen or something and you want to keep your you know you're going to shows you want to keep your area clean or if you're in a hotel and you don't want to walk around late at night some people take it with them on the road. We do I, have like I a hadn't thought there. about that, Alex. Oh my god. Oh my mm -hmm. god. For like in an RV, right? For for in a hotel room when you're traveling. This is very um portable. It's not heavy. It's not uh, yeah, really unwieldy. It's heavy. It, yeah. It's the size of a crate. Yeah. Well, I had a big dog. I, mean, I had a big dog. So <laughs> one of uh, you know, my dog was about 125 pounds. So for his yeah, crate, it's about, so, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but it, 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 crate, not a chihuahua <laughs> crate. Yeah. But I mean it you it's it's something you could easily put on your dolly and take with you. Yeah. hundred percent. And think about, okay, you guys, let's think about this. We have the garden we have orlando coming up we have all these indoor shows coming up and there's no place to walk your dogs take it to the dog show and put it in your x pen bada bing bada boom no shavings jesus lord god in heaven baby jesus i love this idea i just Yes, well, you don't have to like, well, you're sitting there doing your barbecue and you got to smell that poop. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saying, I am seeing this now, like from a handler perspective, I've got a lot of friends who do a lot of toy breeds or primarily toy breeds. And you could put one of these in the RV, in the X pen, in the setup, in wherever. And those little darlings don't have to touch the ground when we have bugs asunder right? We just had a, a big pure dog talk this week is about the, the canine influenza. What if your dog doesn't have to touch the ground in the gross places? Hi, I have a way to make that happen. I yeah, love this. It's very hygienic. It's very, that's why we promote it for the puppies and the whelping them because it's very hygienic. You don't have to worry about how long I left the poo there or, you know, it just either automatically cleans it. Or again, you have it on your app it'll say look in so you can push the button 
and look at you look at your puppy or your dog from wherever you are and if you see that they made a mess you push the button it's clean you're good to go i said clean your ex your whelping box from thailand i am all about this <laughs> we oh have my God. God. Yeah, someone did it from a couple of states away and they were so thrilled. They called me right away. They were like, oh my God, I went to my mom's and I was in here and I lived there and I saw my puppies and I cleaned it. Well, our I breeders do that. say it saves like 10, at least 10 hours a week in cleaning and not, not oh, including like you said, I'm the call. I'm pretty sure it would save me hours a day, never mind a week. <laughs> um, and, and truly i mean i haven't even tried all the extra extras right like the sprays and some of those things which i talked to us about that because i thought that was really creative and something i have not seen in any variety of other um products with, that i've looked at with the training sprays mm -hmm. um so basically yeah you get a couple extra rolls um and the one right. roll people might be asking how much does it last it's somewhere between 27 and 30 puppy pads a roll right so every time you push the button so you can i mean if you push That's the button once a day it's a month right exactly yeah. this this amount so if you push the button once a day it's a month if you push the button three times a day it's it's a couple weeks right so yeah you, you'll figure out um we do have a roll subscription program and things like that um so that you constant so you don't run out but the nice thing is because you have the ability to only advance a portion you don't yes. have to do the whole pad so and based on where, yeah based on where your dog goes you mm -hmm. might only have to move three inches or six inches mm -hmm. so there's that we then give you the three training sprays, which is, um, it has a deterrent. So it has the no, no, the go here. Um, and then, you know, another control spray, but mm -hmm. most pups, like if they're, they're not sure or dogs to train, we just simply say, try the go here spray. And generally that gets them to go. Um, if I will you, tell you, know, you what I did. Around the edges Honest to God, I had, no, no, I had puppy pads, you know, like pee pads in with the puppies. And I just took one that had already been soiled, like peed on. And I just put it on top of the machine. And mm -hmm. that's all it took that they figured it out from there. Like dogs well, know where they're supposed to go potty. And, and that one time of putting a different pee pad, just something, this is where you go, took it away mm -hmm. and they still go on the machine. Well, and we're going to say that, you know, each, we're not going to say that it's better for some breeds than others, because honestly, any breed can use it. You're going to have some litters that are better about it than others. And sometimes you have like that devil puppy that sort of like leads all <laughs> the, the others. Right. Purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and sometimes they're all angels, but all it takes is that, you know, one little dark side to like drag all of his siblings along with him. But, you know, with, with repetition and consistency, you're probably good. Now, for a small dog, <clears throat> if they're already using pads, the training right. method is very simple. You just take the soiled pad, put it on the brilliant pad, and then we actually, you know, say try folding it in half, then folding it in a quarter. As long as they have their scent on the machine, within a few days, they're pretty much good to go. You don't have to worry. And about that's what it. I'm saying. That's what I did with the puppies. And they, it, overnight, like it was instantaneous. They figured it out. Because um, they're brilliant. So, Those brilliant puppies. Brilliant. <laughs> brilliant puppies, brilliant pad. I'm just going to say, I'm not saying mine are geniuses. They are Spinoni, but they're really cute. <laughs> <laughs> super cute um okay so questions anybody with questions drop them in the chat about the brilliant pad we've got alex here to answer them meanwhile pitch a couple of the other things um this is the holiday shopping bazaar so there's lots of things i know we have yeah let's our what else you have <laughs> show yeah. us the, the show. i got gift gift shopping to do let's see i know <laughs> let's see what people have got um, I know one of our listeners was talking about her biothane collars. So 
If you're out there, listeners, and you have products that you make or sell, drop them in the comments. Drop a link, anything you got. Natalie, anything pops up that looks good, holler at me. Um, another thing I want to let everybody know about, and this is something that we did at Pure Dog Talk um, during the pandemic, actually, when nobody could go to dog shows. And, oh, good, here we go. Minimalistic Mutt apparel and accessories. Nice, Carissa. Whoop, whoop. I love it. There you go, guys. Minimalistic Mutt in the comments. Um, so while those are rolling in, the only thing I would suggest to you guys, and a lot of people don't even know this is there, including the vendors themselves. During oh, the pandemic. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. During the pandemic, Pure Dog Talk made a point of doing a virtual vendors row. And so at puredogtalk.com, you can go to the shopping tab. Not only can you find the albums and a whole bunch of other stuff from Pure Dog Talk, you can find an entire list of dog show vendors. And we wow. make nothing off of that. There is absolutely no benefit to Pure Dog Talk from this except to help our listeners. Go there. There are some amazing products um, on that shopping tab. Thank you, Natalie, for dropping that. Um, those, all those vendors are vendors that are out there at dog shows that during the pandemic, we said, Hey guys, send us your stuff. Um, oh, there's Alicia. Oh, good. Yay. Alicia. Thank you. Um, Alicia has biothane dog gear. And so bar W customs, there's her, her Facebook page. You guys absolutely check that out. I've seen her stuff at the shows, really cool stuff. If you're looking for biothane, like obedience leads or tracking leads is what I thought of for doing tracking. Um, really, really, really fun stuff. Just walking. There's neon colors for walking at night, you know? Um, so a lot of cool stuff there. Um, anyway, so, so that's what I would say. Check out, check out vendor row, which is all dog show vendors that we know from the shows near us across the country. Um, check out the brilliant pad giveaway. There's the link there in the comments check out the um, listeners that have given us things that are available for sale from them. We want to, one of the things that I feel really, really strongly about here at Pure Dog Talk, instead of having, you know, small business Saturday or whatever it is, support our people, right? Um, don't go to Amazon. Don't go to all the places. Check out Revival. Um, Natalie, drop a, drop that photo. I just today went to the pure dog talk partner page, clicked the link so that I could order my panicure for these puppies and a whole rest of the world that needs wormed here at my house. And I not only got their $10 off, I got $15 off by putting in podcast 15 because revival is a sponsor of the show. Um, there you go. That's, that's saving nice. money. That's yeah. money. And, and you can, your dog friends, your litters, whatever it is, there's stuff at revival for you. Um, so that's an okay. entry fee there, Laura, that's more than an entry fee. <laughs> well, okay. It's an entry <laughs> fee for a puppy. I mean, it's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> dog shows are expensive these days, but every but, penny counts. Every, every penny counts. Every penny counts. It's true. <laughs> And so I'm always about supporting the people that support Pure Dog Talk. That's why Brilliant Pad's here. Uh, Revival Animal um, Health, Trupanion, our brand new sponsor. And we will definitely be hearing from them at Live at Fives in the future. Uh, ProPlan. ProPlan um, is, is come on as a sponsor of Pure Dog Talk. This is a huge, huge deal to us. Um, and so... If you have questions, I know there's a, a thing going on right now. If you have a question about ProPlan, come ask me and I will get you to the right people. Um, that's my job, right? <laughs> I, I, as, as your host at Pure Dog Talk, I don't know everything, but I know everybody. So it, that's, that's the deal. Um, if I don't know the answer, I know somebody that does. So if you've got a question about ProPlan and whatever's going on with ProPlan on a given minute, 
drop me a message, shoot me an email. I will get you with the right people to answer those questions for you and you will have peace of mind going forward. Um, oh, Robin. Oh, oh. Everybody, yeah, they're all dropping discount codes. See, this is perfect. This is what I wanted this to be. This is Christmas holiday shopping, y'all. Robin, I didn't know that you had this. Okay, Robin Castillo, um, a sight hound person I've known forever for my Beethan hounds. Um, she's got leather items here. So, and like I said, Alicia's got the um, um, biothane. Sandy, Sandy MacArthur, if you're still here, drop a link. Um, Sandy is a graphic designer. She does a lot of advertisements and uh, litter announcements and all those kinds of things. Sandy, you'd better <laughs> still be here. <laughs> yeah, how about logos? A lot of breeders need yes, logos. Logos, hundred percent. Sandy is a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful design work. Um, anybody else out there um, that has design work or advertising work? Um, I know that when I was working as a handler, um, the person who did most of my candid photography and ad design was Karen Evasuik from Evasuik Custom Design. So there's that to, to consider. Sandy, drop a link for your design work. An email. Come on, girl. Come on. Um, Have you guys thought about doing a logo for your dog when you're campaigning or for otherwise? I, I don't know. I mean, I have my dog on everything, literally. I mean, I, you name it. That was it. one of the things that I loved the most about working with, when I was working with Karen, is every one of my new specials, she would come up with a, a special, you know, whether it was a name or a logo or a type font, you know, a font style, whatever it was. Um, court, my Manchester Terrier had a little um, court jester hat. <laughs> it's just, you know, yeah, really I, I don't fun. know. Um, well, I Sandy, think of being a horsey person and you put your name on everything and I love being part of the dog community because it just lets me continue to put logos and embroider and emboss and stamp exactly. and wherever. Sandy, yeah. Sandy, Sandy, give us your email. That is word of mouth. This is word of mouth. That's what we're doing right here. Girl, girl, make a Facebook page for Pete's sake. Yeah, Sandy, do you have a Facebook page? You can manage a Facebook page, Sandy. Um, I There was somebody, who was I just talking to that does, oh, I know. This is one of our upcoming, we don't have um, their sponsorship signed all the way, but coming in the coming um, weeks, we're going to have um, a brand new advertiser and information from a group that's making websites for clubs um, and working specifically to have um, clubs that, um, you know, your national club, right? Like getting membership applications and all that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> so below that, you guys, club history is a thing coming up. Um, and in our holiday shopping bazaar theme, which is this whole month, Next week on the podcast, we have Veronica Wolf from Best in Show Bling. She is a vendor at the dog shows in the Pacific Northwest primarily. She has gently used um, show clothes for mostly for women, although I've seen a few, few gentlemen's things in there. And she did a whole episode and she's going to do some more with us. I'm super excited. Um, talking about dressing for the show ring. Like, what do you wear? what's right for you what's wrong how do you keep all the schmutz together you know what i'm saying <laughs> um oops okay all right good job robin robin's got her robin. website yep. wow if you guys right. haven't clicked robin's link you need to see these collars <laughs> like i'm gonna run out and get a sight hound right now <laughs> Just so I can put a call, that collar on. Oh my <laughs> God, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. amazing. Um, the cardinals, I love the skull and uh, skull and roses. Amazing, amazing. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. And we get a discount code. There you go. Christmas presents for everybody. Holiday presents. Whatever you guys are doing. 
All right. Okay. So we've got all the good stuff. We've got the brilliant. You, know, you can never have enough collars, right, Laura? You always no, need another. No such thing. I, I have pointing breeds. <laughs> and so we have collars with nameplates. We have reflector collars. We have zippy collar. We have all the collars. <laughs> Yeah, in the meantime, um, my dog never wore one unless we were outside. So there's that. Well, and, <laughs> you know, that's that's the thing. My dogs at home don't wear don't wear collars because I I worry about these things. But when they're working, when they're hunting, they I mean, three collars is bare minimum. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> reflector collar, name brand collar, GPS collar, maybe a zippy collar if you have to have two instead of one that's GPS and zippy. You know. Um, oh, I love this, Robin. This is amazing. Okay, yeah, you guys. A lot of work went into those. For oh, sure. yeah. Robin, Robin is very talented. Sandy, your task is to make a Facebook page. I'm throwing down on you. You are making a Facebook page. Um, anybody else out there? Sandy can put some pictures up on, on your Pure Dog Talk page. Absolutely. With some Sandy, go drop, drop a sample of one of your ad designs in the comments on Facebook. Um, oh, okay, Robin. That's very cool. So her profile Facebook picture, Robin's, is uh, one of her callers. Sandy, I'm telling you, you're going to go drop um, a, a, one of your designs. I've seen a couple of your... Um, litter announcements and several of your advertisements. So I, I need you to do that chop chop because people people need help. Yes, ma'am, you're right. You were the right. <laughs> All right, Alex, one more time. Let's remind everybody they can get a breeder bundle by filling out the link in the comments for yep. a free. Enter a brilliant breeder bundle that is a 399 dollar value guys you will get everything you need to whelp at least a litter so it and is, we're and the other thing, thing wait one thing i want to mention we have a breeder team that is there for you you can literally call these ladies day and night they will help you they will walk you through any tips so one thing that really impressed me about working with Brilliant Pad is the dedication we have to making you guys, uh, you know, be successful. But be that free fill out, fill out your form. We'll be pulling the winners you know, around noon tomorrow. So you're good gonna, luck. You're going to drop an email to everybody, right? Say not yep. just to the winner, but to everybody. Thank you. And links to where they can buy one if they want to, if they didn't win. Um, Renee, this Facebook live will stay live on the, here on the pure dog talk Facebook page. So yes, all of these things will live ad nauseum and it will even slop over to the, to the YouTube page when, when my producer gets a chance to move it over. Um, so this, this will all be available. The, uh, pure dog talk shopping tab on the pure dog talk website is there full time check out the vendors. There's some really amazing people on there who do really amazing work within our system. I, I really want to encourage people. You can go to Amazon and save a dollar or you can support someone in our sport that's doing this to support our people. To me, shop local means shop inside the dog fancy in every way we can. Um, and we will um, make sure that, yes, Natalie will make a gifting list. Look at Natalie. She's all over it tonight. <laughs> well, and Cora, let's be honest. Who knows what we want and we need better than one of our own, right? <laughs> right. That's right. It's 100% right. And I just, I, I, I feel really strongly about this and always have. But then during the pandemic, it just really struck me. I mean, of all the people, the handlers were hurting. Uh, judges were hurt. Everybody was hurting, but I thought the vendors, I mean, there they went, right? And I, they've got inventory sitting there. So that's why we made that list. And so we're all back to dog shows and vendors can still go, but I don't see any reason you can't buy from them online if you can. So yeah. everybody check it all out. Holidays are it, it we're, um, let's see, 
20 days, 20 shopping days until Christmas. If you're doing Hanukkah and some of the other events, you've got less time. So choppity chop, quick like a bunny. Let's get out there and get shopping and let's have an amazing holiday within the dog fancy. All right. All right. All right, everybody, anybody listening, if you are listening on a replay on this, if you have a link, if you want to share, please drop it in the comments. We're absolutely all about it. And Alex, thank you so much for coming thank and sharing you, with us. Don't really yes. If you're in Orlando, come see us by the booth. <laughs> I, I so will be stopping everyone. by in between my um, uh, uh, judging seminar sporting institute seminars so i i will look forward to seeing everybody in orlando absolutely shop now shop well shop with a discount yes <laughs> all right thanks everybody thanks alex we Thank really you. appreciate seeing everybody tonight happy holidays take care happy holidays happy holidays to everyone good night <laughs>